Hello friends, I'm Zan Zan the Game Man with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Sheep Boom Ba. Sheep Boom Ba is a 20 minute game. It plays within about 2 to 4 players. Made by One Day West Games. Let's get started. Players choose a color. Take their corresponding player board and six wooden sheep. Players also take a white sheep and place it on the zero on their player board tracker. Connect the eight start space border tiles together. Shuffle seven landmine tiles. 14 safe field tiles and 4 barn tiles for a 4 player game. Use tiles to randomly make a 5x5 five five grid. Shuffle card deck and deal each player 4 cards. Place remaining cards and safe to cross tiles next to the board. Player with best sheep impression goes first. Starting player places one wooden sheep onto any starting space. In a clockwise direction, each player follows suit. After the last sheep has been played, you are ready to start the game. How to play. On your turn, you must take two actions. These are the possible actions. Move sheep onto a field tile. If face down, flip over to return one. Bumping. If a sheep is bumped, it moves to the next adjacent tile in the direction which it was bumped. If a sheep is bumped onto a tile that has to be flipped over, the sheep that was bumped on it takes the action. The second action is to move one of the sheep on your player board from the barnyard to the barn. Landmine tiles. If your sheep lands on this tile, you can defuse the mine if you have the card that allows you to do so. If you defuse the mine, replace this tile with the safe cone tile and score two points. If you cannot do if you cannot defuse the mine, place it in the graveyard. Replace it with a safe to cross tile. Safe field tiles score one point immediately on your player board score tracker by revealing this tile. Players who move onto a revealed safe tile do not score additional points. Barn tiles score three points immediately. On your player board score tracker by revealing this tile. Regardless of the color, when sheep move onto this tile, place the sheep in the corresponding colored barn on the player board. Players who move onto a revealed barn tile do not score additional points. Once this tile is discovered, players can place their wooden barn piece on top of this tile. You also have the option to play or discard any number of cards from your hand. It, this does not count as an action. At the end of your turn, draw up, draw back up to four cards. Once a player has removed all of their sheep from the field, the remaining players take one more turn. Then the game is over. Then. The players count up their points, and the highest score wins. And if there's a tie, the person with the most sheep in their barn wins. And if there's still a tie, well, which is most likely, then the tied players share the victory. My thought for this game is I really like the miniatures and those things. And my personal favorite part of it is that you don't know when you're going to go into another person's barn, you get victory points, or you get exploded. That's one of the fun parts. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below. 
And make sure you also check out my other video made for Monster Highway, which is also made by Wet One Day West Games.